What's up everybody, David's here, and I haven't made a video in a long ass time, but I got this book called 300 Writing Prompts, and it's got a lot of cool like ideas that I was really wanting to kind of share. I was like, it's a way to kind of get my thoughts out there. I was trying to make vlogs about like trips and stuff I'd go on, but I'd low key be too busy on the trip to be recording. So I figured this would be a cool way to get some content out and kind of do something that I like, like writing at the same time, so. This first question is called, do you prefer taking risks or having a safety net? And I feel like for me, I feel like I'd rather take risk more times than not. But at the same time, you always kind of got to be a little bit calculated and like have somewhat of a safety net. You can't just be out, you know, gambling all your money or whatever it is, taking big risks. But at the same time, you can't just live it safe and just kind of just take the safe route every time. I feel like anytime I've taken like the safe way, it'd be cool, but it just like the adventure just isn't quite there, if that makes any sense. But the times that I've taken risk, it's like they've had the highest yields or the highest like, you know, results, whether it be like, you know, happiness, money or whatever. But then they also tend to have the lowest lows. Like you get the crashes or you'll lose some money on something or you'll get your feelings hurt. So. This is a, I definitely prefer to take risks, but at the same time, it ain't nothing wrong with having a little bit of a safety net. Uh, I'm gonna try to do one of these every day during the week and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So I'm trying to start now and I'll see how the rest of this week pans out. All right, this is the third time I've done this. I always forget to hit record when I record. But today I'm at Burnell Studios with my boy Reggie over here. I actually just met him today through my client Clara over here. And so, like I said, with today we're doing birthday photos and I'm doing BTS for a video we're gonna be shooting regarding her dance video that's up now very soon. So yeah, this is a Wednesday and uh, let's keep pushing. So we are back at the barber shop and it is day two of 300 writing prompts and today's question is what do i look forward to every week when i thought of this i was like damn that's a pretty interesting question i'll have like a, a scheduled job that i do but for the most part i feel like i'd be taking stuff kind of day by day like i have my long-term goals and my short-term goals besides like jobs that i book i really don't plan too much of anything um and so I feel like the thing I look forward to each week is just the spon spontaneousness of it. What I look forward the most during the week is just whatever the week brings, uh, whether it be good, bad, happy thing, a sad thing. I'm just uh, excited to have the week. I like being able to just embrace what the week has to offer. Like we're never guaranteed the next week. So it's good to just be like, yeah, man, like I have this week, I can make the best out of it and make the most I can or whatever 100% is that day or of that week, I'm gonna give it. And yeah, like I just be appreciative to, to be alive and have the week low key. <laughs> <laughs> So right now it's Thursday and I just finished uh, another little job of mine. It wasn't actually a job, I just volunteered for this. It was, uh, I do a dance, I do a, uh, fuck. I shoot a dance studio everywhere doing a dance class and the people, or the hosts were putting on a, what's up Malcolm? This is my homie Malcolm right here. Anyways, the place is called Lioness Pulled In and today they were hosting a whole exhibition. This is my first time ever being like this, it's really cool. Uh, I pretty much just came to get some content, you know, share some love with people I work with. And so I'll throw some of the clips. I still need to do the uh, the writing prompt for today, so I'm going to get to that. Uh, yeah, it's Thursday, I'm with the, the Lioness Cold Game, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet. I'm going to throw some clips, and uh, we hope we get to this live exercise. 
What's up y'all? I think the last time I recorded this week was Friday. I tried to get something every day, but I got a little lazy the last two days, got busy with stuff and just ended up not recording anything. I missed a couple of days in the 300 riding prompts, but I wanted to do it while I had some time. I'm out getting some food right now and some quesadilla tacos. That shit is like, I kind of found out about them this year and it's definitely one of my favorite meals, but the question for today was, were you born to shine in one special way and what makes you really stand out? And when I think about that, I was like, hmm, what is it that makes me stand out or what makes me shine? And I was thinking about this while I was picking up dog poop today. And I was like, I feel like when it comes to creative things that require like problem solving or just like creative things, not necessarily always you know, like numerical things or logical things, but things that require uh, just creative solutions. I feel like I'm always like pretty good at being able to just come up with creative solutions to any problems that I have. And uh, one of the things that I wanna be able to do is I want to be able to make a living by just living my life. And I feel like everyone has a story. It's just, you have to get it out there. And I feel like, what makes me shine or what's special about me is that I'm not afraid to put myself out there and like risk looking foolish or taking an L or whatever. Like I always feel like the ceiling of taking that risk is always a little bit, you know, shoot for the stars, you know what I'm saying? And then if you end up on the moon, you're gonna be all right. So I guess that kind of ties in with the last one of do you prefer to take risks or, or safety? Or have a safety net and I guess I do like taking risks like I like doing things that may be a little different or unconventional or may have a little more problems or setbacks but I feel like I have a decent intuition into knowing you know I have a very optimistic you know outlook on stuff and I have like a good intuition on knowing that something has greater value or if there is like I see the benefit in taking the risk or doing whatever it is that I'm doing so I'm going to write that down. I really like that question today. What's something that makes you shine? What's something special about you? Do you have any special qualities, things that make you shine? Um, let me know. Uh, let's see. I'm watching football today. We'll see if I can get another uh, clip of something in. And, uh, yeah, if I don't, I'll see you next time. And uh, thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Peace.